that may strike you as strange. It's letting pubs stay open later, in some cases for 24 hours a day. The CBC's Don Murray takes us inside now for a glimpse of the magnitude of the problem police face every night. <laughs> In Newcastle, the night is young and the beer is flowing. We are as yet on the fringe of binge. Customers make no secret that they are here to drink to ridiculous excess. Yeah, do we? Drink it, you can't remember anything? Uh, sometimes. That's hard. It's not hard. <laughs> it's a typical night out. It's firm, friendly, but fair, policing style. But if people step out of line, we will arrest. Down the road in the Whitley Bay District, Sergeant Dave Little is giving his squad their orders for the evening. Every officer on shift is going on binge patrol. And here are the bingers. Shout. They sing. They stumble in and out of pubs. Some are liquor pilgrims from other cities. Newcastle is a beacon of booze. Members of the squad watch and wait. They and police across the country have orders to crack down to make more arrests of disorderly drinkers as the longer hours kick in. Mayhem in the night captured on CCTV cameras. This, all too frequently, is the late night result of the British way of drinking. It's about 200 years of history and that's the way we drink. Michael Craik is the chief constable of the Newcastle region and in charge of the national crackdown on drugs. If we keep that going long enough, then people will just stop that sort of behaviour because it just isn't worth the trouble. And that's when it's time for a different sort of culture to take over. But that's not going to happen in one campaign, it's not going to happen in a week or a month or a year. Back in Whitley Bay, pub closing hour approaches and so do the problems. The warning wasn't enough. Forty some people won't take advice. The problem you've got is it attracts a lot of attention and could quickly escalate into a, a nasty situation. These then are the trenches in the battle against binge drinking. In this sodden conflict, the government has decided on a new strategy. Not limiting, but extending drinking hours in pubs and bars across the country. The police are organizing their version of last call. With the new longer staggered hours, most police believe they may eventually have fewer problems. People will pour less liquor down their throats in the last hour before closing. Not tonight. Go on and get in the taxi. As they wait for a taxi, two drunk women start fighting and are arrested. He too was in a bar fight and will spend the night in jail. In this corner of Binge, Britain, it was an average evening for police. Twelve arrests. How are they? They'll all be fined, and police expect they'll all be attacking the booze the same way next week. John Murray, CBC News, Newcastle.